Hi everyone, Vince Bognaw here, and today in this video, I will be walking you through the initial setup of Apple's newest iOS 7, which was released today as a beta version on June 10th, 2013. Today was also the keynote of where Apple introduced iOS 7 and macOS 10 Mavericks. And I just wanted to do this video to document the initial setup process of iOS 7 and uh, my first impressions of iOS 7 as well. So let's get this in focus. And uh, one thing to note here, as I'm doing this setup process, take note on how the UI looks. It looks much simpler. So I just have to slide to start the setup process. It prompts me to choose my language. And I'm going to select my country. And now I'm going to log into my Wi-Fi network. And now it's activating my phone. Now it's prompting me if I want to enable location services, which I will. I'm going to set this iPhone as a new iPhone. And now I'm going to sign in with my Apple ID. Alright, now it brings me the terms and conditions, which I will agree to. I'm going to use iCloud. And I'm going to use Find My iPhone as well. And now it's... Uh, prompting me if I want to use iMessage, which I will. And I'm going to use Siri, and I'm going to automatically send diagnostics. That's a, it's as simple as that. I'm done with the setup process, and it's saying welcome to iPhone. I'm going to click OK, and it prompts me, or it doesn't prompt me, it shows me my new home screen. Now, first impressions here, they redesigned the icons, which is really nice. And as I'm tilting the phone, you can faintly see the background moving a little bit to give the icons that 3D effect, which is really nice. So, uh, iOS 7. This is the first overhaul of the user interface since the introduction of the iPhone in 2007. So, uh, the main thing here is the Notes app doesn't look like a notepad anymore. The compass doesn't look like an actual compass anymore. Game Center doesn't look like a casino table with green felt anymore. They decided to go with the flat design in iOS 7 to make things simpler. Nothing fancy, nothing glossy, it's just simple. And that was their aim for iOS 7. Let's take a look at all the stock apps. Here's Messages. Here's Calendar. How do I go to monthly view? Let's see. Here's the monthly view. And here's your photos app. Here's camera. Now I can go to video mode by swiping to video mode. I can take a picture. I can take a picture with a square aspect ratio. Or I can take a picture uh, using panorama mode. Let's open up the weather app. And now it's loading up my weather. And the background will show an animation of the current weather of where I'm currently at, which is Clark. Right now it's mostly clear and it's nighttime, so you won't see an animation. But if it was rainy right now, you'll see a rain animation right here. Let's look at the clock app. Very, very nice. Simple. I like it. Let's look at the maps app. It's loading the map. Videos. Notes. Reminders. Stocks. Game Center. Very, very different from the original Game Center app. Newsstand. No More Wooden Bookshelf, iTunes Music Store, very nice, App Store, Passbook, Compass, the phone app with the new dialer pad, 
Male. Safari. Music, which includes Apple's new iRadio that they introduced today as well. FaceTime. Folder view. Now, if you remember back in iOS 6, if you clicked on a folder, it would basically drag down and show you the apps in that folder. Now it just pulls up all the apps within that folder, and I believe there's no limit to how many apps you can put in the folder now. All right, and they also released, or they also added the new control center. You basically swipe up from the bottom, and now you can easily enable airplane mode, enable Wi-Fi, enable Bluetooth, enable do not disturb mode, and then enable uh, portrait orientation lock. You can also easily adjust your brightness, easily play a song, enable the flashlight, which is new. Now you don't need a dedicated flashlight app to uh, use your phone as a flashlight. It's built right in now in control center. You can automatically launch a calculator which I will do. Again, flat design, very simple. And uh, that's basically it. How do you like the new iOS 7 so far? Remember that, if I can talk, remember this is in beta, so things might change. And iOS 7 will be available to the general public in fall of 2013, so a couple of months from now. Now, even though I am part of the general public and I am not a developer, iOS 7 is, are, is in the hands of developers right now, but even though I'm not a developer, I managed to get my hands on iOS 7 very, very lucky. I'm going to keep this on my phone until it's publicly released, just to get a feel of how iOS 7 works. And I must say, I really like it. It's a breath of fresh air from the old, current, bland iOS user interface that's been around for six years now, if you can believe that. Six years. So this is very nice. Something new. All right. Oh, before I go, let me show you Notification Center. Really, really nice. You can show all your notifications, your missed notifications, or notifications relating to today. And that's about it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you like this video, and uh, I hope someone's watching right now. So that's the new iOS 7. All right. Now, uh, I just wanted to say thank you very much again for watching this video. This is actually my first tech video in over a year. Can you believe that? So I hope I did well, and I hope you like iOS 7. Ask me any questions if you have any about iOS 7 if you have any. All right, you have a good one. Bye-bye.